All right, let's do this. Today I went to Taco Bell. And I hate Taco Bell. But let's see if the new cantina menu will help me change my mind. It smells good. Let's start off with that. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Did you ever get your water? Oh my gosh! Taco Bell, you effed me. I never even got my water. This is rough. This is really rough. This is really rough. Taco Bell, you always manage to F me. I'm gonna tell you how in a bit. Oh, that's some good looking cheese though. Can't lie to you. I'm just, I'm picking the bread off now for um, aesthetic purposes so I can do a thumbnail. I heard that Taco Bell has some new restaurants that they opened up, um, which are their cantina restaurants. So it's gonna be a bit more of, mm, better quality food if you will and they're just trying to push chicken and a better quality chicken um, a lot more so that's why they brought out this menu and I do love quality and that's one thing that really keeps me away from Taco Bell because it's like why go to Taco Bell when you can just go to you know a traditional Mexican restaurant and get amazing food and it's great quality for a pretty decent price but i heard they have this new menu and everything looked amazing so i thought why not try it out so what's on everything for that cantina chicken bowl we have it filled with slow roasted chicken seasoned rice black beans avocado ranch sauce sour cream lettuce shredded purple cabbage freshly prepared pico de gallo, guacamole, and cheddar cheese. And for the cantina chicken burrito, we have it made, of course, with their slow roasted chicken. It has avocado ranch sauce in it, a creamy chipotle sauce, lettuce, shredded purple cabbage, freshly prepared pico de gallo, and cheddar cheese, and it's on a grilled flour tortilla. And then last but not least, we have the Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco. And that has on it the slow roasted chicken, three cheese blend, creamy jalapeno cheese sauce, and more three cheese blend grilled on the outside. Without further ado, let's try it out, shall we? We shall. The way this cheese fell off this crispy taco. Hmm. That's nice. Mmm. There's a really nice that sauce, that chipotle sauce on there is really nice. Oh my god. I love the crisp from the taco. It's just their average um, hard taco shell that they usually use. You know, of course, they grilled it with the cheese on it, and that's really nice. It's super cheesy. It has like a nice smokiness to it. Mm. The chicken, this is one of their better chickens for sure. I don't want to stop eating it. Okay, Taco Bell, I see you, I see you. You will try that avocado verde salsa. It's spicy, but not too spicy. Not like zesty. To me, it has like a. I'll try it again. There's like a slight, a slight sweetness to it. 
Honestly, I feel like this taco is so good on its own. It doesn't really need the sauce because that chipotle sauce on it is really, 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 really good. Really, 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 really good. Anytime I get a burrito, a burrito type bowl, I like to get chips with it. And then they're like my makeshift nachos. Water would have went amazing with this. <laughs> wow. Up next. We have that delicious bowl. I'm excited for this. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. The presentation is really nice. For it to be a fast food restaurant. I feel like they don't give you enough chicken in this. Okay. Finally. <laughs> I want to get a little of everything on there. I, I am not wowed. I am wowed with how it looks, though. See, this is where the chips come in handy. I feel like it's a bit under seasoned. Like it could have been seasoned a lot better for the chicken. Um, for pretty much everything in this bowl, honestly, um, seasoning is just not there. I will, I will say the rice is um, the rice is pretty nice. It's like this. The things are there. The chicken is there. The avocado is there. Pico is there. Black beans there. Rice is there. Lettuce there. Cabbage there. Cheese there. There, there. There, there. But everything is so under seasoned. Do I taste salt? A bit. Do I taste something else? A bit. That's it. Only thing I can really taste from this bowl that really shines through though is the rice. But this is the chicken cantina bowl, not the rice bowl. This is sour cream too. Mm. As pretty as it looks. Nah, I could take this to my house and finish her up. And it's so interesting because this supposedly has um, a good amount of sodium in this. But I need something. Garlic powder, black pepper, cumin, or even like maybe a bit of cayenne just a tad because i do understand it's a fast food restaurant but it's missing it's missing a lot of flavor i'll take it home and doctor it up it'll be great then this is the part where i would have water but i don't have it this is what happened so i went to taco bell and they were pretty busy hustling and bustling it's um 1 30 i went there um but I get Taco Bell's pretty popular. I understand. I understand. Um, so I went there. You know, I ordered my things. I ordered my chips. I got to the front. Oh, yeah. And then I ordered just a cup of water. Um, and then I checked my bag. I was like, okay, everything looks good. Drove off. Then I looked again. And then I said, oh, I don't have my chips. They gave me the cheese. They didn't give me the chips. So I had to get back into line again. The line was really long. And then I said, hey, I didn't get my chips. I was so caught up on that I didn't get the chips that I I didn't realize that I never got my drink. Aww. Second mukbang now without a drink. And I said, and I said, this will never happen to me again. And look at me, never in. It's okay because there is a um, grocery store I am nearby. So I'll, I'll probably cave and stop this and get like a bottle of water or something. Okay. Now on to the burrito. Usually I don't like Taco Bell's um their soft tortillas because it's not toasted, to my understanding. I could be wrong because I don't go here often, but whenever I do, I am disappointed with their burritos or flour tortillas in general. So this is toasted. 
and it smells really good. So. I just got bread. Hold on. <laughs> Whatever sauce they have with it is nice, though. Okay, no. This is nice, too. These two guys here. Solid. Solid for sure. And this, see, see what I mean? This has a nice, like, heat component to it. It's not too spicy, though. There's also other types of seasonings that they use that I'm sure I won't be able to point to figure out because it's their secret stuff. There's a nice one. See, and smokiness from the chicken. Vegetables have a nice crunch. The cheese is nice in there. Everything intermingles perfectly together with this burrito. And I got chips. I don't know why the bowl didn't perform as well. I don't know. I don't know the chips had salt had salt on them. Okay, time out, my God. Time out. I gotta get water. Cause it's kinda hot outside too. <laughs> this cannot be Dairy Queen all over again. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna run to the store and get water. Wow. Can I just say, thank God for water. Wow, that's crazy. I hate that I had to spend $2.79 on water. I didn't know water went up like that. I have a water purifier at my house, so. Price. Okay, to get the crispy chicken taco just by itself, um, it was $2.99. And to get the chicken burrito, it was five eighty nine, and the chicken bowl, all cantina. This is like all off the cantina line, um, so I'm just not saying cantina after everything. Um, so the chicken bowl was eight nineteen, and the chips and cheese was two fifty nine. So altogether, I spend twenty eighty four. Read it, read it. You rated right. Let's go. I did the crispy chicken taco first. Um, <clears throat> I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I really didn't. I was like, it's plain Jane looking taco. There's no lettuce on here. There's no tomato on here. Little, we won't even talk about how there's no onion on there. It's fine. We'll just even leave that part alone. Because, I mean, ma'am, this is a Taco Bell. But, <clears throat> that got an eight and a half. I would definitely come here for that again. I could see myself craving that and coming here again. Until one closer to my house, because honestly, um, I put in the GPS Taco Bell. I thought I was going to want a, a bit near, near, more near my house, but it turns out. <sighs> the thing with Georgia is so many of their streets sound the same, or they're so similar, or their streets run so long. So, um... I am not near my house. <clears throat> I am not near my house, not one bit. But on the bright side, there's a Marshalls. 
I'm gonna buy candles. Yes. Come on, man. At the end of the day, I am just a girl. And we are gonna run our errands, and Marshalls is going to be one of those things that we go to. It's like God wanted me to buy candles today, and that's what I'm gonna do. Next is going to be the, mm, I did the bowl. The bowl, the bowl, the bowl. Um, the bowl gets a four. And that's that. Last, but definitely not least, and that says a lot for me because I'm usually not a burrito gal. I'm a nacho gal and I am a taco gal for sure though. Um, and a bedia gal. But look at me enjoying burritos from Taco Bell. Burrito got, it got an eight. It did. Go Taco Bell. Go Taco Bell. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Where I will put out new videos that are mukbangs every Monday. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. Because I got candles to buy. Like, right now. Like, Marshalls is looking at me, and I'm looking at them. Okay. Bye.